today is Sunday. Sunday fun day. And I am with Miana and Timberland. Hey y'all. <laughs> Welcome we, back to Shalisa's channel. Welcome back. To, so we're at Stone Mountain. <clears throat> it's the perfect weather outside. It's not too hot, not too cold. We got our little things Timberland got us. Water bottle purse. <laughs> we got matching bags. So yeah. We made it to the top, guys. It took us 32 minutes to get up this steep mountain. back from stone mountain i just got back and that felt good the weather was perfect so i got back and i ate some leftover um stir fry that i made yesterday for dinner so now since the temperature is like it's not hot the sun's out but it's not hot so we're about to take the puppies to the doggy park Yeah, we're headed to the dog park. And then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner. Oh, so cute. Try to get her some now. Let's see if I hold her. We just got back from, oh, what is my shirt? So, we just got back from the dog park, as you can see. Say, I'm wear out, mom. I wear out, mom, I should be. Honey, she is tired. Haven't moved since we walked through the door. Tomorrow's Monday. Can I tell y'all my nails look crazy? Look how far grown out they are. This is crazy, this is gross. Who even am I? We chipped over here, and y'all don't even want to see the other hand. Y'all don't. What is this? I've just been procrastinating because I do not like sitting in a nail shop. But, ooh, uh, I look crusty. That's the, I need to get in the shower anyway. But, good morning, guys. <gasps> Where is my, oh, I'm guessing I have to use this. As y'all can see, I am not in my usual setting, my usual kitchen. I stay the night at my apartment for the first time in I don't know how long. Um, worked all day yesterday and came here. I did not feel like going driving back to his, even though he only like 15 minutes away. I did not feel like driving back over there because I'm about to get an oil change and I wanted to try to get there early because it takes them all the other day and the place is closer to my apartment and to my nail shop oh treacherous is also close to my apartment so let's see how fast I can get to my car Y'all will never guess what time it is. It's 10.30 and I'm just now leaving the house. Hi, can I please do the Paradise drink, a grande, but with coconut milk instead of water? And then may I also do the sausage cheddar and egg sandwich? Yes, ma'am, what else for you? That would be it. May I get a name? Chanel. C -A -A -N -E -L. Correct. Thank you. Chanel? Yes. Hi, girl. Hi. Hello. You know. 
You recording? Yes. Is that YouTube? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Did it work? Chanel. No, you gotta type that in. Okay. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> supposed to try to get there by 10. Now it looks like I'm not gonna get there till 11. I'm pulling in now. Let's see. Look who's back home, y'all. I got up there and I saw all those people waiting. I said, oh no, I'm not just go. I'll see y'all later. Call me when y'all have fun. Yeah, there was too many people in there already waiting to get service. So, I'm like, I'm gonna go back home and work in peace. I asked her how long and she said like two hours. So, I'll update y'all when the people call me to let me know my car is wow y'all so they just called me and said my car is done it's one o'clock so it took exactly two hours i'm about to go back and pick up my car and go to the nail shop got my car back so my total was 102.67 so that's not bad I'm getting lucky today because they didn't tell me I needed to pay extra for something. I think I'm gonna try to do almond shaped nails today. I found a little picture on Pinterest and I usually get just some really short, um, square, tapered off, like natural looking nails. But I think I wanna try something different. Why not? So I think I'm gonna get like a French tip almond shape on my nails and then I always get French on my toes. Blue dogs. My nails are so cute. Uh -uh. Got me a wrap from Tell Me Crazy. I'm about to finish my lunch. And then head back to the house. So I will see y'all when I get there. I just got back to the house. My package just came from Melo Plus. So these are, I'm excited to try these. These are melatonin like vape pens, but they don't have any nicotine in them. So basically, you're supposed to puff this like five to 10 times, 30 minutes before bed. And it's supposed to help you get deep sleep, a fresh start, and builds immunity. So I'm excited to try this. I have to make content for them. And I'm finishing up some work. So I know I have been telling y'all that I have been well, I always say that I'm working, I'm working, and have to get work done. And I never really tell y'all exactly what I'm working on. So I thought that I would just kind of give you guys some details. Um, I know I mentioned to you that my mom is an owner of two businesses. So she owns two real estate development firms. One is called Coalesce Development Group and one is called Sepia Transformation Partners. So Coalesce Development Group, she is owned, it's just her by herself, she runs that company. And then 
Sepia Transformation Partners is her and her business partner um, as the owners. So they have a bunch of property. You know, when a lot of people think real estate, they think like, oh, she's a real estate agent or oh, whatever. Property management, like no, these are actually the developers who are putting, building the actual buildings or taking older buildings and rehabbing them. So that's kind of like in layman's terms what her companies do. And with that being said, she is extremely busy and she asked me if I could help her again. So now I'm gonna be doing project management, which also includes doing personal assistant work for her outside of the two businesses so that she is able to focus better on that. So basically it's working in and in. Um, it is a family business and eventually I will be one of the owners. My brother, then, brother and I will have ownership in the company. So it kind of works because I'm learning the ins and outs of how to run a real estate development firm as well as making money assisting doing it so because you know i'm gonna have these properties are gonna be mine they're gonna be handed over to me one day and i gotta be able to do this and know something about it you know so right now what i've been working on is some certifications but outside of the certifications the biggest project that i'm doing is working on her friend's bachelorette party and her friend is getting married in the DR in July, I believe. And right now I am working on party planning, this bachelorette party. So, you know, renting, um, doing, getting quotes for the party bus, getting quotes for large group reservations at the restaurant, building a mood board. But I created like the invitation um, for people to RSVP got all of the bachelorette party accessories together, gift bag, sash, veil, um, came up with a scavenger hunt, made sure everything kind of fit in the same type of theme. You know, books, called different sprinter companies, called different restaurants to find a good venue for them to have dinner, books like a boat tour of the downtown Chicago River kind of thing. Just trying to find something fun for women of their age to do for a bachelorette party and put all that together and it is very time consuming but i'm glad that i could help her so that she doesn't have to worry about that and can focus on the Gosh. other stuff that she has to do so i'll have little stuff as far as like um little administrative things that i've been having to do but right now my main focus started back as helping her with the party planning so i'm gonna take y'all on the journey of me planning the bachelorette party i am going to show y'all right now what i worked on today boop, 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 boop. this is what this is just a quick little preview Okay, so this is the invitation that I created to the celebration. It's gonna be downtown Chicago, so it has a little skyline theme. I'm gonna make sure everything is like black and white and aesthetically matching for the event. So I have that so far on that. And then this is the mood board that I came up with. Um, kind of just giving the bridesmaids an idea. My mom is the maid of honor. So this is kind of the mood board we're gonna have her send out to them just to get their their opinion on if they like what we have planned for the bachelorette parties. Just a little mood board for people to see what they will be getting themselves into. So yeah, that basically, I mean, that has taken me probably, like I said, a week just to get correspondence from all these places. Everybody has these different guidelines. Some restaurants, right now we're saying it's gonna be like a party of 10, but some restaurants are saying like, oh, you have to pay a $2,500 minimum. Um, you have to have a $1,000 minimum, but we're trying to keep it within a specific budget as well because 
there's the bachelor party, which is this. Then there is the bridal shower, which is a whole nother event in another state. And then there is the destination wedding, which some people are going to all three events. So we have to make sure that um, it's basically, you know, try to keep costs down because people are spending a good amount of money to go to these events. So I'm basically doing what I just showed y'all for this and the bridal shower, which is like a sip of paint, whole nother state, whole different vibe, whole different theme, whatever. Today's Tuesday. I don't know if I said that already, but if I didn't, it is Tuesday. So we're, of course, it's Taco Tuesday at the crib. Now that's him riding with my round. This man done bought Ever since your boyfriend to the grocery store. This man bought the salad lettuce for the taco. Why would you do that? You ever get a man Instacart driver? I promise you, 80% of your order is gonna be messed up. That's why I really don't mess with Instacart. They don't be paying attention. They really don't care about your groceries. They just want to make sure they do the bare minimum and get your items. So. Oh, here she go. Okay. You guys, uh, here's the final look at the taco. <sighs> Chanel back up. You're not getting none. And there's his plate. Y'all made him try the, um nacho cheese taco shells so that's all folks so about to watch the movie and chill good morning y'all it's 10 23 and today is wednesday y'all see the vibes i'm about to go to solid core so i'm about to do take some pre-workout i love this stuff April 5th, April 5th, our affirmation for today is, I make smart decisions, have faith in yourself, the decisions you make are based on your experiences and what you think is best, even if your choice doesn't turn out how you had hoped, you will still learn something, making you smarter, next time do it differently, so... I'm going to put on my little skins jacket and head out the door. I'm back from my workout. It was a good workout. There was a new instructor, so I could tell he was like a little nervous, but he still did a good job. So I'm about to make my Get Thick smoothie. I'm gonna show y'all the ingredients. I like to drink these. Right after my workout, we got the extra crunchy peanut butter, old fashioned oats, one full banana, and some almond milk. And it tastes better cold, so add some ice in there. Cause it's just like a smoothie.
cheaper. If you want to make it sweet, sweeter, you can add honey or Hershey's chocolate syrup. But I think it's already sweet enough, so I don't need to add that in mine. Then we add in our iced. Shop at Publix. You need to get Callaway Blue water. It's spring water, but it's the best spring water I ever had. Okay, guys. Here's the finished lasagna soup. Um, he likes his with a lot of noodles, so ours is a little thicker than it. It's supposed to look like um he likes more of a pasta than a soup and then there's parmesan on top and ricotta cheese so that's the that melts once you mix it all in. so there you have it i just i had to show y'all from to bed my package just came but i ordered this bath tray cute little bath tray from amazon so i'm about to put it Oh, yeah, it's be cute. Take a little bath out here. Open up the windows. So I'm gonna try that out and see. I had to show y'all these melatonin pins. I talked about them briefly yesterday, but I tried one last night. The melatonin pins are from Mellow Plus, y'all. So last night, um, the direction said to take five to 10 puffs before bedtime. So my boyfriend and I tried it. Y'all, this really works. Like, I had to try it before I made my real for them because I hate advertising things that don't really work. So I did it. When I tell y'all, after like 45 minutes, once it kicked in, I felt like I took NyQuil. And I didn't feel groggy when I woke up. I felt refreshed, but it made me go to sleep for sure. I have a cold. Let me go find my cold so I can give it to y'all. My discount code is just um, Shelly Chanel. So, put the website in the description. So, y'all really try these. It tastes really good and it definitely works. So, I'm gonna have to get some more. This one that I just tried is called Heaven. The flavor is Heaven. And it's like a fruity, like fruity pebbles, sherbet type of flavor. And then this other one I haven't opened yet is called Blue Cloud. So y'all better go up there and get y'all ready. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. This week is just flying by. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, what's up? Happy Thursday. Egg alarm's going off. 
I just got back from the grocery store. It's Thursday afternoon. Right now, I'm working on an Excel spreadsheet for my mom that needs to get done. I have a few emails that I need to correspond to. We're supposed to be going bowling later on this afternoon. So, yeah. That should be fun little day night. Whoop his ass in bowling real quick. Seriously, y'all always wanna make noise when I'm filming. Okay, guys. So here's an update of what I've been working on. So this is I'm gonna get this. So this is the um I think I showed y'all the invitation that I created boom and so I just did the scavenger hunt using the same type of theme the same concept skyline font all of that yeah um, those are all the different activities that they're going to do I'll say this took me about like 45 minutes so I'm gonna send this to my mom see how she likes it for approval Y'all, we just got to the bowling alley for a little date night. Yeah, we just got home. Show you. Don't y'all feel? Don't your days feel so much longer when you get up early? Yeah, see. Yeah, she can get me up earlier. She can make me wake up early. And I say I done got shit accomplished. I be looking up at the clock. It's only fucking twelve thirty, two o'clock. I'm like, God damn. Period. Shit. Cheeks getting. Mm. About to get in the shower, put on my jam jam. That's the 
end of Thursday. I have to take my grandma. Matter of fact, let me FaceTime her. This is why she didn't answer. I called her earlier. I have to take her to her doctor appointment tomorrow. I don't see no call from you. I can't even see you. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see you talk. <laughs> there you go. What you in the bed? I'm gonna be there to pick you up at 10 tomorrow for your doctor's appointment. Oh, yes, yes, okay. I'll be okay, there. Okay, that'll work. I'll be there at 10 a.m. All right, ma'am. All right, I will let you. Love you. I will, huh? I'll text you when I'm on my way in the morning. Okay, all, all right. right. Love you. All right, bye. Bye. Hey, y'all, happy Friday. I am running a little behind, but I'm on my way. To pick up my grandma, aka GB. She has a doctor's appointment that I'm about to take her to. Look at you looking all fly. I like those pants. Thank you. My old leg. Wee! Check out your outfit. Look at GB. Stephen. Yeah. What's with these damn chicken places in, in, in Georgia? Everybody wants to serve chicken. Where is chicken? I thought that was chicken. That's how we were. Philly. Huh? Your head looks like a chicken. Mm -mm. <laughs> that is a chicken child. No, it's not. What is it? Chicken, chicken. That's the angel holding up biscuit. A sheep. Drinker, this who got me started drinking coffee. Putting all that cream and sugar in there. Let me see how you make your coffee. Let me show sure people how much sugar I put in my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Not you trying to hide it. Y'all just woke up from a nap. I gotta leave in two minutes to make it to solid core. I had to take the late class today because of, on account of me taking G Bizzle. Oh my God, this one minute. So now, Side. and it matches my vibe right now I, I was there yesterday um shortly before you closed i think i left my debit card there are you able to check for me okay thank you all right bye i knew they were gonna say they didn't have the card like sitting right outside the wax center. I'm gonna go in in two minutes, 15 minutes early, and see if they they can take me early to go. The weather for today's crazy. All right, y'all. It's 10:30. Let me go up in here and get my wax. Hello. Hello. Can I come in the house, please? Hello. That is the end of another weekly vlog. 
make sure if you are new here to please subscribe i will see y'all in the next video